Hello and welcome to today's Crafty Juniors craft session. Today we're going to be making a seagull picture frame. What you're going to need today is a card of some description. So you might work with a cereal box, pizza box, as we have done in the past, or you might have some thin card that you want to work with. If you're working with a cereal box, it might be an idea to have some plain paper as well, just to make the decoration a little bit easier. A ruler if you want one, if you want to make things exact. Pencil, scissors, choice again of how you're gonna decorate it. So you might want to work with paint or you might want to keep it a little bit less messy and work with felt tips. You're gonna need some glue, some tape, and some wool or string. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start off, I'm going to uh, get myself some card from my cereal box. As I said before, if you've got some card already that you can work with. But obviously these crafts are designed to be accessible to everyone. So using things that you've perhaps got out at home, you don't need to go out to the shops to buy anything special. Okay, so I've got my piece of card and what I'm looking to do is cut four strips of card, approximately 15 centimetres by three centimetres. So about 15 centimetres long by three centimetres. So I'm just going to mark up That's my 15 centimetres and then I'm going to mark off my three centimetres. Do three times tables here. So we've got three, six, nine and twelve. So I'm going to mark those off. Now you can just cut this quite roughly. Um, and make it a little bit more rustic looking. So as long as the sizes are approximate, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so just cutting these out. Okay, so I have my four sections of card and these are going to form the main sides of our photo frame. So they're going to go together like that eventually. So that gives you a bit of an idea of how big this is. Okay, so when I said you can, it can look a bit more kind of rustic, when we put them together, you could put them together at a bit of an angle. They don't have to be exactly square because the style of this kind of suits that more rustic look. Okay, next thing we need is to get us some card to make the back. So I'm just gonna cut out another section. Okay, what we want now is something which is about four centimetres smaller. So we had 15 before, so we're looking at around 11 centimetres. So a square that's about 11 centimetres. Okay, so we now have our two sections, our frame and our back. So we're just going to put those bits to the side for now. With our bits of card that we have left, we are going to cut out our seagull. So I've got a little picture here so that you can see the different parts of the seagull. So we've got the body, we've got the beak, two wings and the two feet. So those are the approximate shapes that you need to be putting onto your card. Now, because I'm using a cereal box, what I'm going to do beforehand is I'm actually going to put some white paper on it to make it easier to decorate. So, so I'm just going to glue some white paper onto my bit of card. Because if I'm using felt tips, they don't always take so well on the card. 
Okay, so I'm going to draw my shapes on. As I said, it doesn't really matter the size. Um, approximate shape. So we've got a body, something like that. We've got a beak, which is something like that. Two wings. and our feet. Okay, so fairly simple shapes and it doesn't matter if they're not identical to each other, all adds a little bit of character to your seagull. So now I'm just gonna cut these out. Okay, so now you've got all your bits to decorate. I'm not gonna worry about the back of my frame because you won't see that. So I've got the front of the frame and I've got my seagull. So I'm gonna start with the front of my frame. So I'm just working with um, plain card here. So I'm gonna do mine gray and kind of do a little bit of a, a kind of wooden pattern on it. So I'm gonna do some knots and some wiggly lines on it to try and make it look a little bit like it's a piece of wood. If you want, you can just colour these in, or if you're painting, you might just do them one plain colour. The choice is yours. Okay, so just trying to make it, I'm working with the fact that this is grey background already, because that works quite well with my design. Okay, so one piece, I'm just going to get on and do the other pieces. So I've got the sides of my frame now to put together got my knots in there and I've just drawn my kind of wavy lines moving around those knots to try and give the effect of it being pieces of wood. Okay, I'm going to go on now and I'm going to do my seagull. So I'm going to keep his body white and I'm going to give him a yellow beak and yellow feet. Next, I'm going to do his wings and I'm going to do them grey. Once I've coloured all my bits in, I'm ready to construct. So I'm going to get my glue. First thing I'm going to do is position my seagull's beak. So I'm going for about the middle of the head section. Then I'm going to put his wings on. So just putting them either side of the body section. Starting to look a little bit more like a seagull now. I'm going to give him a couple of little eyes. So the next bit is attaching his legs. So I've got some um, yellow wool, so I'm gonna work with that. I'm just gonna make a little loop, cut a little loop. So it's up to you how long you make your seagull's legs. I'm going for quite long. So I'm just gonna fold it so it's equal. Turn over my seagull and I'm going to tape those onto the back of him. And then I'm going to turn his feet round and I am going to tape those on as well. And there we have our little seagull. So now what we need to do is construct our frame. So we've got our four pieces. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay two on the sides and then two across. 
so you can go kind of I'm going to do mine slightly off like that to make it look a little bit more like it's planks of wood and I'm just going to glue these corner bits on slightly wonky then I'm going to turn it over and I've got my little piece that goes on the back so I'm going to make sure do it that way around make sure that the hole at the front is covered then I'm going to take tape along the bottom but not the top. Okay, so this top bit here is where you will slide your photograph into. So we turn it back over, we have our frame. <clears throat> what we need to do now with our seagull is just give him something at the top of his head so that we can hang this up. So we're just gonna cut another little loop Turn him over and tape that onto the top. We sit him at the top. We're going to stretch his legs down and we're just going to glue his feet onto the frame. So glue on the back of his feet and place it on the frame, stretch him up so you get it roughly even. Glue the other foot, put that onto the frame and there you have your lovely hanging seagull frame. I hope you've enjoyed today's Crafty Genius session. Please do put your photos up of your creations, it'd be lovely to see them. And I'll see you next time.